All new at six is Arizona's newest city going to be Santan Valley. The area, as many of you know, is located in the Far East Valley next to Queen Creek. ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips takes us inside the new effort to incorporate Santan Valley. With the Santan Mountains as a backdrop, Santan Valley is one of the fastest growing communities in Arizona. When we only had two, this was uh, two roads coming in and out, and we still had cows and and loved it, but it was definitely time for us to grow up. Evelyn Carr has lived here 17 years and witnessed the growth. I believe that it's a good idea for us to incorporate because we need our roads. We need to be able to have control over what's going on in our city. Carr is among a growing number of Santan Valley residents who want their community to become a city. Last month, an organization called STV Incorporated 2024 notified Pinal County it will try to get Santan Valley recognized as a city. We have 100,000 residents uh, in Santan Valley, 100,000 plus. It's the largest unincorporated area, and Pinal County is not set up to run a city. By land size, Pinal County is the size of the state of Connecticut, and the Santan Valley shares in county revenues. Becoming a city would give it access to federal funds and greater control over what its residents want. Pinal Supervisor Mike Goodman represents the area. This would give more of a voice, local voice, to people. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm for the incorporation effort. Goodman says cities are better equipped to build roads and parks and fund fire services than counties. But the group spearheading the effort will still need to convince voters that's the case. Because our taxes will go up, property taxes will go up. There will be plenty of time for convincing. Later this summer, organizers will host a series of open houses to lay out their plan. A map of the future city of Santan Valley still needs to be drawn. And the Board of Supervisors needs to give the okay for a petition drive to begin and then possibly getting the proposal on the November 2024 ballot. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.